traveling is amazing. It gives you a chance to see and experience cultures that aren't your own, and some would say that it's clearly the best way to broaden your own horizons. When most people travel, they tend to pick destinations that are sunny and relaxing. But today, we're showing you 10 terrifying places I dare you to visit. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Terracotta Warriors One of the most popular and incredible archaeological finds of the 20th century is the grand discovery of the Terracotta Army over in China. Back in 1974, some workers were digging a well when one of them made a remarkable discovery. Some pieces of clay figures were found in the dirt. After a little more digging, what some have labeled as the eighth wonder of the world was uncovered, an entire clay reincarnation of an ancient army, life-sized, including both soldiers and horses. The Terracotta Army was created by China's first emperor, Chen Shi Huang. The beautifully crafted army figures were made all the way back in 246 BC, and get this, Huang was only 13 years old at the time he commanded this to be done. The Terracotta army was made up of more than 8,000 different statues. 8,000! They estimate that more than 700,000 workers spent 40 years completing the set. And what may even be more impressive is that no two statues are exactly alike. So, the only question becomes, why did Huang have the statues made? Well, to protect him in the afterlife, of course. <laughs> World's Biggest Mirror You may have heard of Salar de Uni, which can be found in Bolivia down in South America. Most people just refer to it as the world's largest mirror, and it's not difficult to see why. For starters, if you do ever decide to visit, it's best to go in the rainy season, which generally lasts between November to April. While it is when most of the weather persists, this is also the time of year when you can personally see the insane mirror effect that draws countless tourists each year. These are the Bolivian salt flats. Stretching across nearly 7,000 square miles, this is the largest salt flat in the world. But it's during the wet season that the amazing gigantic mirror can be seen. The flat is transformed into a lake, although it's only 6 to 20 inches deep. But this is when the water perfectly reflects the sky, creating a seamless and endless mirror effect that looks absolutely beautiful. Chenza Mountain From a giant clay tomb, to a giant mirror, to a giant mountain. Up next, we'll talk about the Chenja Mountain, which can be found in the Hunan province of China. This place is primarily renowned for the unique views it provides to anyone who comes out to see them. Spring and fall are the best times to visit, and sites like Xinchang Gulf and the Qinzi Peak are the main attractions. But of all the places I've read about and looked up online, in the Qinzi Mountain, the fields in the air looks like the most terrifying to me sitting more than 3,000 miles above sea level and looking down over the many sheer cliffs makes for a beautiful yet super scary sight. Hitachi Seaside Park We'll stay with the Asian theme for at least another minute or so as up next we've got the Hitachi Seaside Park which can be found on the coast of Japan's biggest island, Honshu. Here, there are nearly 500 acres of hills, gardens, forest, and entertainment features, but the reason why people travel from all over the world to come here is the plants. I guess this would only qualify as terrifying to people who hate flowers. Beautiful, bright, colorful flowers bloom here all year long and feature literally millions and millions of different individual plants. 170 varieties of tulips, millions of daffodils, and all types of other brightly colored flowers help to make up one of the largest flower gardens in the world. There's also a small amusement park named 
pleasure garden on the premises containing a Ferris wheel that will also provide a unique perspective of the entire area. If you ever visit Tokyo, take a couple of hours out of your day and drive over to Hitachi Seaside Park. You won't soon forget the experience. Bamboo Forest Okay, one more Asian entry, then we'll move on, I promise. But I just saw images of this next place, and I've got to tell you, it certainly epitomizes the meaning of terrifying. Just a short drive from Hitachi Seaside Park in Kyoto Sagano in Japan is the Bamboo Forest. Now, with a title like that, you really don't have to guess what's there. It's a forest filled with bamboo trees. But if you're from the States, like myself, then you've likely never seen a forest quite like this. The most impressive feature about this forest may not be what you can see, however. It may in fact be what you can hear. The winds make very unique and interesting sounds as they blow against all that bamboo. And it's so unique to the area that it was actually voted as one of the hundred must-be-preserved sounds of Japan. Whatever that means. Moon River Brewing Company We'll head down to one of my favorite cities in all the United States for this next one, Savannah, Georgia. Now, I can't say that I love the city for its ghoulish reputation, and in 2003, Savannah was named the most haunted city in America by the American Institute of Paranormal Psychology. Tucked away in the most haunted city may be the most haunted bar, the Moon River Brewing Company. Actually, the pub was only established in 1999, but the building it sits in goes all the way back to 1821. Back then, it was called the City Hotel and housed locals and tourists during some of the country's most uneasy times. Lots of men were killed here back then, and some say the souls of some of those patrons still reside within the walls of the building to this day. Today, even after being converted into the Moon River Brewing Company, stories are told of beer bottles moving on their own, guests feeling like they've been pushed while nobody was around, or there's one account of someone feeling like they were slapped right across the face. Now, I've got to say, I love beer. Lord knows I drink enough of it, but I'm not sure that drinking one on a summer evening in Savannah is worth having a brush with an ancient unsettled spirit. <laughs> Toilet Seat Art Most of what you've seen today has been terrifying in its own right, but nothing will prepare you for this. Down in San Antonio, Texas, was a guy named Barney Smith. Barney, in his later years, crafted up a roadside attraction that was quite unique, a toilet seat art gallery. Yeah, you heard me right artwork made out of toilet seats. The retired plumber and lifelong artist collected over 1,300 toilet seats in his life that were all decorated or fixed up in a highly unusual yet highly artistic way. Barney was born an artist. As a child, he displayed a true gift in it and would proudly display all of his work on the walls in his room. The only issue was that he was born into a family of plumbers and ultimately, when he grew older, he succumbed to the family business. The collection of toilet seat art is deeply personal to Barney, and a quick five-minute perusing of the work will make you feel like you knew the man personally. He was very patriotic. He loved his wife immensely and even worked at a Bible school at one point. A unique idea, to say the least. <laughs> International Banana Museum have you ever heard the saying, too much of anything is a bad thing? Well, if that wasn't exemplified with the previous entry and the toilet seat museum, even though I do love Barney Smith, then it'll certainly be exemplified here, unless of course you love bananas. Meet the International Banana Museum. That was the setup to pay tribute to, you guessed it, bananas. You can find this unique attraction in Mecca, California, and according to the Guinness World Records, this is the largest collection devoted to just one fruit. Pretty much anything banana-related can be seen here, and most of the features have been donated. From banana candies and treats, to banana milkshakes, sodas, and even the world's only petrified banana, just in case you were wondering where that was. 
Hotel Monte Vista. We'll close things out with a couple more ghost stories for you, which of course will leave up to you to believe, or not. Our first one occurs within the walls of the Hotel Monte Vista, which can be found in Flagstaff, Arizona. Once named the most haunted place in all of Arizona, this hotel can be found on Route 66 about two hours north of Phoenix. It's home to several ghost stories, like the one about the elderly woman who checked into room 305 and never checked out. She rented the room for years, famously sitting in a rocking chair next to the window. Several reports after her passing claimed that people also saw the chair rocking long after the woman had passed away. Room 306 is said to be haunted by old ladies of the night, some of which were murdered and thrown out of the window. And of course, there's Meat Man in room 220. People say that while renting the room, he would hang raw meat from the chandelier. After the room was cleaned out and reset, a worker walked into it being tossed around with the television back on. The famous John Wayne even stayed here before and says that in the middle of the night, room service knocked on the door, but when he got up to open it, no one was there. Spooky. Gettysburg Battlefield. Our final story of the day is on the field of one of the deadliest battles in American history. The Battle of Gettysburg claimed the lives of roughly 50,000 young men in a three-day span during the Civil War. There's no way everyone who lost their lives was given a proper burial, and some say that the souls of a lot of those soldiers who died during the battle are still restless in the area. If you've been here before, how would you describe the energy? Did it seem spooky to you? Thanks for hanging out with The Supreme and watching 10 terrifying places I dare you to visit. There's no doubt that some were much more terrifying than others. With that said, is there anywhere on this list that you've been before? Is there somewhere you're planning on going now that you've been introduced to it here? Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching The Supreme. We'll see you next time.